Hey guys, what's up? Ryan Cardi here, uh, out in Arizona now with my mother. Um, in regards to the prion disease or and or spiroplasma bacterium um, infection here. Uh, listen guys, I did a lot of research. Um, I found out a 73 year old woman uh, presented with a lot of the same signs and symptoms that I had in the hospital. Um, she had um, uh, peripheral extremity enlargement, same thing that I have. Um, throughout her whole body and everything. Um, she did have a fever. I did have um, night sweats from this in the very, very beginning and stuff like that. So um, a, lot of, for a lot of similar things that we had in common. Um, I did come across that it was a spiroplasma systemic infection that she was suffering from. So it's very well, if you do the research, you can look into there's debates on whether it's um, an actual prion disease, a prion that causes this um, infectious disease or it's possibly a spiroplasma bacterium. Now it makes more sense that it could be a bacteria that's causing this, uh, these diseases um, because they use do doxycycline which is an antibiotic as a, which is a, actually a bacteriostatic antibiotic um, which helps um, delay the onset of the, the disease and stuff like that, excuse me. Um, so it helps prevent, um, you know, from from um, spreading so quickly and stuff like that. Now, I came across that with this 73-year-old woman that had this spiroplasma systemic infection, they treated her with um, doxycycline, and not only that, but uh, levofloxacin or levoquin, which is a broad-spectrum antibiotic, which is a bactericidal um, antibiotic, which actually kills the bacteria and infection and stuff like that. Now, why these neurologists, researchers, scientists never thought of trying to treat this disease, knowing full well that a um, doxycycline and bacteriostatic um, antibiotic helps delay the onset of the disease, why didn't they ever try a quinolones um, antibiotic like um, ciprofloxacin or um, levofloxacin or levoquin and stuff like that? Now, um, I'm going to be experimenting on myself. Um, I'm going to have to get these antibiotics either possibly from Mexico or online overseas or something like that. So I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I've been currently taking um, just 50 milligrams of doxycycline that my mom had left over from a prescription she had before for some uh, rosea for her skin and stuff like that. So... Um, um, I think I could be. I think I very well could be on this something uh, very, very, a potential cure, a potential remedy to this. Um, why they never thought of trying to use a broad spectrum antibiotic, knowing full well that doxycycline worked, and um, the quinolones uh, very easily cross the blood-brain barrier, just as easily as uh, the doxycycline does and stuff like that. So why they never uh, decided to try one of those. Um, antibiotics, knowing full well that the doxycycline helped delay the onset of the disease. Why don't we try a bacteriocidal, not just a bacteriostatic, where it actually will possibly kill this infectious um, bacteria um, disease or whatever you want to call it. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, again, guys, uh, doxycycline and possibly levofoxacin or levoquin could possibly be a um, uh, remedy and or cure um, to this horrible, horrible prion disease or spiroplasma bacteria disease or whatever you want to call it. Um, like Gary Chandler said, it's like splitting hairs between the two of them. So um, I don't know why or how I came across all this um, this uh, research and knowledge and stuff like that, but you could check it out. The 73-year-old first known human woman with a spiroplasma ba uh, systemic bacterium infection. Um, and I really believe that this could be causing these these horrible diseases and stuff like that so um you know check it out for yourself guys you could do the research um like i said sh they treated her with doxycycline and levofloxacin um and you know she was fine after that um it, it you know cured her of the infection and the disease and stuff like that and everything so um Yep, uh, I'll keep you guys posted, let you know um, how it goes with the antibiotics when I get when I get them and stuff like that, especially the Levaquin or the Levofloxacin, and um, hopefully that could be, uh, hopefully that can cure me, guys, and um, I stumbled, to come, stumbled across something very, very um, big and stuff, and I could, you know, possibly post research and publish, write some papers and, and uh, have them published and stuff like that, showing that um, the doxycycline and the Levofloxacin could possibly cure me from this um, 
horrible, horrible infectious disease that I have and everything. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and um, I'll keep you posted and let you know, let you know um, what, uh, how, everything, how everything else goes and how everything else progresses and plays out from this. All right, guys, take care. God bless. Later.